Palm Springs is known as a great getaway with great neighborhoods. We're going to take a tour of Palm Springs' best neighborhoods, and it starts right now. Palm Springs is well known for attracting the rich and famous, but where do they live? What do the neighborhoods look like? We're going to take a tour of the Palm Springs' best neighborhoods and celebrity homes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you don't miss my next video. Indian Canyon. Located in South Palm Springs, Indian Canyons is actually made up of several communities. Located close by is Smoke Tree Stables and also the Indian Canyon Golf Course. Many of the homes in Indian Canyons were built in the 1950s and 1960s. This part of Palm Springs has really great mountain views and it's more wind-free than the northern parts of Palm Springs, but it's still close to shopping, hiking, and downtown Palm Springs and also the Palm Springs International Airport. The home behind me is known as Walt Disney's Technicolor Dream Home. Over the years, Walt Disney owned several homes here in Palm Springs, but this was built for Walt and his wife Lillian for their later years. It was owned by the Disney family all the way up until 2015. This home is located on the second fairway of the Indian Canyon's North Golf Course. Homes here range from about half a million dollars all the way up to two and a half million dollars. Located in the northern part of Palm Springs and just west of Indian Canyon, Little Tuscany is kind of tucked up next to the San Jacinto Mountains, which makes for steeper terrain, and a lot of these homes have large boulders as part of their landscape. Also, many of the streets here are very narrow. You can find a mixture of home styles here. Most are on larger lots, and you'll find both Spanish and modern architecture. Like many Palm Springs neighborhoods, many celebrities have had homes here, including Elvis Presley. Little Tuscany gets its name after a local developer returned from a trip to Tuscany, Italy in 1934. Some of the 20th century's most famous architects designed homes that are here in Little Tuscany. Probably the most famous one is the Kaufman House right behind me. It was designed by architect Richard Neutra in 1946. It's considered one of the most important examples of international style architecture in the United States, and it's the only one that's still privately owned. The Kaufman House is a must-see for fans of desert modernism. It's been meticulously restored to its original glory. And this home is also famous for Slim Aaron's photograph called Poolside Gossip, which was photographed in 1970. One of the former owners of this home is also a local resident, Barry Manilow, who now lives in the Mesa in South Palm Spring. The prices of homes here in Little Tuscany range anywhere from $400,000 all the way up to over $3 million. Vista Las Palmas is an area tucked between Old Las Palmas and the San Jacinto Mountains on the northwest corner of Palm Springs. You'll find many exciting properties here. Many of the homes were built by the Alexander Construction Company. Many of the approximately 330 luxury homes were designed by the architects Palmer and Kreisel and Charles Dubois. Vista Las Palmas was developed mostly in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The home behind me is the Alexander House. It was custom built for the Alexanders, and it was called the House of Tomorrow. But you probably know it better as Elvis Presley's Honeymoon House. Another well-known home behind me in Vista Las Palmas is the Kennedy Lawford House, if these walls could talk. This home reflects the 50s and 60s heyday of Palm Springs. Stories from behind these hedges involve seduction and scandal, including names like Peter Lawford, the Kennedys, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and Marilyn Monroe. Vista Las Palmas is in a great location, and homes here range from about a million dollars all the way up to three million dollars. Deepwell Estates. Deepwell Estates is located in a central area of Palm Springs, and it's almost always wind-free. Deepwell has relatively larger homes built in the 1950s and 60s. The area has tall, swaying palm trees, and almost all the homes have lush landscaping. Deepwell is also one of the lowest elevations in Palm Springs, so it's always one of the warmest areas. Many of these homes have undergone extensive renovations in the past few years. Liberace, Carmen Miranda, Loretta Young, Jerry Lewis, they've all called Deepwell home. The home behind me was owned by Ava Gabor, sister of Zaza Gabor, also formerly of Palm Springs. And Ava was best known as a role as Lisa Douglas in the TV show Green Acres. What? Well, when you married me, you knew that I couldn't cook, I couldn't sew, and I couldn't keep house. All I could do was talk Hungarian and do imitations of Zsa Gabor. Homes in Deepwell range from $700,000 all the way up to $2 million. Araby Cove is a hidden cove in South Palm Springs. That's why it's sometimes called Palm Springs' best-kept secret. 
It's a quiet conclave of about 80 homes tucked up against the mountains in South Palm Springs. Some of these homes date back as far as the 1920s. The Araby area offers a peaceful and tranquil setting with lots of history. The views are breathtaking and there's lots of wildlife. It's hard to believe you're just a few minutes from downtown Palm Springs and very close by to shopping at Smoke Tree. It's a hilly area with curvy streets. The home right next to me was the estate, really it's a mini estate, of billionaire Howard Hughes. Homes here in Araby Cove range from the 700,000s all the way up to the two and a half million dollar range. Demuth Park. Palm Springs is home to over 25 neighborhoods and Demuth Park is just one of them. It overlooks the 61 acre Demuth Park which is right behind me. It's Palm Springs largest park. This neighborhood was the first new housing track built after World War II and originally was known as the Veterans Track. Demuth Park's architect styles range from post-war ranch style homes to California style ranch homes and a sprinkling of newer homes with a variety of styles. Many of these homes are being purchased and right now they're in the process of being upgraded. The home right across the street was owned by former big band singer and Palm Springs real estate mogul Edie Adams. Homes in Demuth Park are still fairly affordable, ranging from $350,000 all the way up to about a million dollars. Old Las Palmas is a desirable and prestigious neighborhood located between downtown Palm Springs and the San Jacinto Mountains. Once a citrus grove, Old Las Palmas has the largest number of celebrity homes. It's recognized as one of Palm Springs' premier neighborhoods. Old Las Palmas is filled with many of Palm Springs' largest and oldest estates. Old Las Palmas is within walking distance of downtown Palm Springs. Many of these estates have been upgraded and remodeled and residents here really appreciate the history of the neighborhood and feel like it's a privilege to live here. The home behind me was designed by architect Donald Wexler and it was the former home of Dinah Shore. Today it's owned by Leonardo DiCaprio. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've got an awesome place here. I don't think I've ever been in a house this big before. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a beautiful beach out there. It's a mid-century modern gem and it's available for rent and special events. Homes in Old Las Palmas range from about a million and a half dollars all the way up to twenty million dollars. The Movie Colony. It's located in central Palm Springs and it's across the street from Palm Canyon Drive just across from the Old Las Palmas neighborhood. The Movie Colony is made up of an eclectic mix of homes and cottages and bungalows. It's where many of old Hollywood stars and celebrities live. The Movie Colony is made up of approximately 180 homes and it's within walking distance of downtown Palm Springs. Many of the homes are concealed from gated walls and hedges because privacy was a big priority for the celebrities who originally lived here. Many stars built their first homes here, including Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra, Estee Lauder, and Bing Crosby. The home behind me was owned by screen legend Cary Grant. I know, I look vaguely familiar. Yes. You feel you've seen me somewhere before? Mm-hmm. Funny how I have that effect on people. It's something about my face. It's a nice face. It's a 19th century farmhouse Andalusian style and it's been completely restored. The home behind me is also here in the movie colony. In fact, it's right next door to Cary Grant's house and it was the first home of singer-songwriter John Phillips of the Mamas and Papas. John Phillips also shared this home with singer Scott McKenzie. This home was built in 1935 but it's been completely renovated. Homes in the Palm Springs Movie Colony range anywhere from approximately $600,000 all the way up to $5 million. Palm Springs has many unique and desirable neighborhoods. If you're thinking of moving to Palm Springs, be sure to get in touch with me. I'd love to help you. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video about living in Palm Springs.